I want to introduce you to something and a different way of viewing your diet and your nutrition. Okay, so everybody is searching out for the perfect diet. They're starting uh, this type of diet, that type of diet, this type of diet. And the thing is, you already have a diet. Okay, so everyone's trying to search for this magic answer. And everybody already has a diet. You have your food preferences. You have the foods you tend to enjoy. You have the way you eat that you like to enjoy, the way that suits you, the way that suits your lifestyle. Um, you've built habits around that. And everybody's trying to find this perfect diet that's going to help them lose weight. And the, 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 the thing is, you already have your diet. It's just not set up in the best way. It's just not serving you right. You know, you have your particular way of eating. Some people, yes, they need to try and improve their food choices and become a lot healthier. Some people's food have a very varied food choices where they already eat healthy foods, but then they eat a lot of the wrong foods. Um, and I'm gonna introduce you to something that I think will hopefully change the way that you look at your diet and how you do it because you can search for those diets but the thing is if you go and start um, a slimming club or something like that they're going to completely alter the way you eat food and you're going to follow some strict rules and some strict guidelines that are, if you follow them it's going to work because they put you in the necessary calorie deficit which is what you need in order to be able to lose weight but quite often it's unsustainable because it's too different to the eating the foods that you enjoy and the way you normally live your life. And it becomes maybe too much of a hassle. It becomes maybe too restrictive and then it becomes really hard to stick to. And then that's where you see your success and then you make those changes, you get fed up and then you go back into your old habits and then you slowly gain the weight that you've lost and you end up back at square one and then you end up looking for another one of these diets again. But if you look at your nutrition in a completely different way, and I use this analogy a lot of times with my clients and that is that if you look at your nutrition like your bank account, then you can eat food you enjoy and you know get results or sustain the results you've already got. Now, what do I mean by that? You know, what happens is, we get paid, you know, most people get paid at a certain time of the month. And you, when you get paid, you might think, right, I'm going to go out, I'm going to spend some money, I'm going to treat myself because, you know, I've just got paid, I've waited all month for this. I'm going to go on a shopping spree and maybe you do, you know, five, six hundred pounds or, or more, whatever is a large amount of money to you personally. Um, you blow a, a huge amount treating yourself, shopping and having some fun. You can't then carry on doing that day after day after day after day after day after day, spending that same uh, large amount of money because you're going to end up broke before the end of the month and possibly even in the minus and in debt, okay? Now, you know you can't do that. So if you look at your nutrition in the same way, so if you go out at the weekend, uh, you go out for a meal, you have you know a big slap-up meal, you have food to enjoy, and you carry on eating that same way, you carry on eating in that excess, as in spending that money, um, in the same way, day after day after day after day, you're gonna gain weight. And that's the equivalent of you know going broke over time. You know, you're gonna keep gaining weight gradually because you're doing all of this in excess, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna look at it like your bank account, okay? So you go out, you have that bit of fun, and then, you reduce backwards to what you was doing before because now you can't go out and spend all that money the way you was before. You have to hold some back, okay? So you might go out at the weekend, you go out with friends, you go out for some dinner, you have a few drinks on a Saturday night, you you know have a curry or whatever, you, you, know, you eat out, and that's a pretty uh, large amount of calories that you've consumed throughout that meal and throughout that day, um, or throughout that particular evening, sorry. Now you then want to now rein that back in. So now you're gonna start watching the pennies and you're gonna rein that back in. So the next day, you know, I've had my, my bit of fun, I've had my night out, I've had that meal. So the next day I'm gonna cut things back and I'm gonna, you know, take from somewhere else, okay? So I might be more careful the next day with my food intake. That might be through reducing carbohydrates through meals. That might be through maybe intermittent fasting by skipping breakfast. 
so I eat a little bit later in the day and you have an eating window. Um, that could be many things. And you could even do that on that same day. So say you know you're going out for dinner tonight. I know I'm going to go out for dinner tonight. I know I'm going to eat, you know, quite a lot of calories. So I'm just going to reduce it slightly through that day because I know I'm still going to get that treat tonight. It's not like I'm being super restrictive. It's give and take. So I'm maybe fast in the morning. You know, if you're the sort of person that could quite easily go without breakfast, then maybe do that till lunch. And then when lunchtime comes, I'm going to have, you know, some sort of salad with like a high amount of protein or something to tie me over till the evening. Because I know that evening, even though maybe, you know, I've, I've been a little bit more restrictive during the day, I know that evening that I'm going to go out, I'm going to have a, have a few beers and I'm going to have a curry with some friends and I'm going to enjoy myself. OK, and then the next day I know that I can't do that again and again and again and again and again consistently because then I'll gain weight. Just like I can't go on that shopping spree day after day after day after day because I'm gonna end up with no money, okay? So then what you would do is you would, the next day, you would kind of follow that same thing. So I went out last night, I treated myself. So maybe, you know, today, um, if I find the fasting easy, maybe I'll carry on fasting or, you know, I just eat healthier um, and watch, my calorie consumption a little bit more and then a couple of days later you know maybe I'm going out again or maybe I fancy um, I don't know a takeaway at home or something and I can afford to have that one thing because I know I've saved those pennies up okay so does that kind of make sense you know I find look it with your diet it's give and take everybody has their own individual food that they prefer and enjoy it's down to you to try and control the amount of calories you're consuming because not everybody enjoys to eat the same way but the diet principles are the same for everybody it's all about energy in and energy out so it's about the amount of calories you consume in comparison to the amount of calories that you're burning on a daily basis if you are burning more calories than you consume, you're going to lose weight. If you are consuming more calories than you burn, you're going to gain weight. But there's tons of different ways that you can reduce those calories and increase that output. And it's all down to the individual. Everybody is completely different. And whatever diet strategy you follow, whether it's a slimming club, uh, low carbohydrate, ketogenic, all of those diets have the same thing in common and that is that they're trying to get you to a stage where you have less energy coming in than you have going out and then that's going to put you in that calorie deficit and that's going to help you lose weight. But I find following that kind of bank account analogy style of things, you are in control and you are able to still eat the food you enjoy rather than follow that particular diet strategy which isn't really sustainable for you. You can still eat the food you enjoy, you can still be a normal person, you can still go out, you can still have fun, but you just have to realise that if you do that all the time, then there is some implications to that. There's going to be weight gain because of that. There's going to be, if you go out on that shopping spree all the time, you're going to end up with no money. So you have to be more careful. You, you ha It's give and take. It's give and take. So I went out last night, I had some fun. So today, you know, I'm going to rein it in a little bit, be a bit, you know, more well behaved with my diet. And then, you know, maybe tomorrow morning or tomorrow I'm going to go out and I'm going to the coffee shop. And I'm going to have a slice of cake. But then I'm not going to then that evening go and sit on the sofa and eat a whole bar of chocolate or consume a load of calories that evening as well. I'm going to do one or the other. OK, so that's the kind of basic principle. And I find that when I've explained that to clients, they start to kind of get it and they start to feel like they're in a bit more control and it's a lot less restrictive, but it's a process and it's a process of changing habits gradually and changing the way you look at things and think about things.